So after all of Crazy Russian's hard work on yet another prototype machine for our NCIX PC systems, uh, this is going to be the updated Vesta 3050. So remember the old Vesta 3050 ran with a Core i5-760 and the new updated Vesta 3050 is actually going to be using Intel's brand new Core i5 and i7, in this case an i7, Gen 2 chips. So this one is using the 2600K and it's also using a freshly released video card, the GeForce GTX 560. So the GTX 560 is what's enabling us to run Metro 2033. This is the bridge level and we're actually running at 1080p with all of the details turned to very high although we're not able to enable anti-aliasing at this time. Okay, so what else do we have for specs on this machine? Well, we're going to be reusing the Fractal Design Define R3 case that we used for the original 3050, but with a twist. So, on the performance package of this model, you actually get the Arctic white version of the Define R3, which has a completely white finish, not only on the front bezel, because remember, the other ones are black, whether you get the titanium, the silver, or the black. They're black back here, and then it's only the front that changes. The Arctic White is actually white throughout. Okay, so that's one of the benefits you get. With the performance package, you also get a 120 gig SSD as your boot drive, and you get eight gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. So it's a pretty sweet little gaming machine. Um, both the performance package and the base package actually come with a Coolit Eco 120 millimeter water cooler. And let me just sort of outline what the differences are between the base and the performance. And I'm totally going to cheat and look behind you guys here, or behind uh, Crazy Russian to tell you. So the 2600K versus the 2500K is what you get in the performance package. You get the Eco 120 water cooler in both. Okay, you get the P67 G53 SLI ready motherboard in either of them. Remember this board does include OC Genie, one button overclocking, so you can turn up the performance of your chip with pretty much zero effort. Okay, the performance package gets a GeForce GTX 560 Ti card, whereas the base package gets a GTX 460 768 meg. The performance package gets the 120 gig SSD and also a one terabyte storage drive, whereas the base package is just using a one terabyte drive for both boot as well as for storage. You get an upgraded power supply, so you get the S12, where, where'd that box go? Here, actually. So you get the S12 to 620 watt power supply with the performance package versus just a basic Seasonic 400 watt power supply with the base package. So I um, just wanted to show you guys that we are running, oh, I'm getting like, I'm getting like killed here right now. Oh, hi guys. So I am running Metro 2033 on high details. I am running it at 1080p and it is providing a pretty cool gaming experience other than that I died with the brand new updated Vesta 3050.